five years. Five years is a long time and no time at all. Five years ago, I had preschoolers and elementary students. In five years, I'm going to have full-blown teenagers, and one of them is going to be staring down graduation a lot sooner than I want to think about. Five years ago, I was just figuring out what it meant to be a pastor, particularly here at St. John Lutheran. And in five years, I'm going to be halfway to retirement, maybe. Five years, 60 months, 1,826 days. How are we going to spend it? And how have we spent it? What do you hope to accomplish over the next five years of your life? And what have the last five years looked like now that we're talking about it? What do you hope that you, ha- you would have accomplished in these last 60 months? And what do you hope that you might accomplish in the next five trips around the sun? We have to be careful Because when we get caught up in the day today, the years can start to flow by and all of a sudden one year is gone and five years is gone and 10 years is gone and 20 years is gone. And we look around and decades have gone by and we feel like we've missed out. The good news is that the Bible gives us wisdom on how to live our life intentionally and faithfully. Now, I didn't say it's going to give you all the answers and help you to live your best life now, but it will give us wisdom if we're willing to listen. And I think it's important in this time and place to to pull back the lens a little bit. See, we've been hyper-focused this year on the events of the day, on COVID, on the shutdown, the quarantine, the economy, on race relations, on the unrest, on politics and the election. And while there's nothing wrong with being up on current events, sometimes in order to get clarity, you need to pull back from the immediate and look at the bigger picture. Sometimes in order to figure out where you want to go next, you have to pull back and see where you're going to go in the long term. And so that's what we're going to do for these five weeks, beginning September 12th and 13th. We're going to do this series called You in Five Years, and we're going to pull back that lens, pull away from all of the unrest and division of right now in order to look at the bigger picture as where we are going as God's people and in turn where we are going as a community of Christ. And I think this is a really important sermon series for us, for me personally, and for the entire community. I think it's a good time for us to reset and to think deeply about where we are going because someday COVID is going to end and someday the world will go back to normal. And what are we going to do with it? And what are we going to do with the time that we have here? This is an important series regardless of your age. Whether you're 19 uh, and have no idea what you're going to do with the next five months, let alone alone the next five years, or whether you are 90 and you're not sure if you've got five years left, this sermon will help you make the most of the time that God has placed before you. And so I invite you to come and join us for you in five years, beginning September 12th and 13th at all of our services. You can come and join us here in our sanctuary. We're socially distanced, right? We're, we're encouraging mask wearing. We're using hand sanitizer and good sanitation. We make it as safe as possible. But if you're still being cautious, and there's nothing wrong with that, then you can join us online on our YouTube Live and also, I'm sorry, on YouTube Live on our YouTube channel and on Facebook Live as well. But whatever way you do it, come and join us for this series. I think you'll get a lot out of it. And invite someone, invite a friend or a neighbor or someone from far off to watch with you or invite someone locally to come and worship with you. Because our life is precious and fleeting. The Psalms say we get 80 years if we're lucky. So what are you going to be in five years? What's your life going to look like in these next five trips around the sun? And how are you going to live the next 60 months intentionally and faithfully? Why not come and listen and hear what God's word has to say about it? Why not come and hear some good news of what God is calling you to do in this time? I invite you to come and join us. And I invite you to figure out who you are going to be in five years.